Hey there, everybody. Last night, evening, ATs dropped the trailer for Outlaw. So, of course, I'm gonna check it out. Unfortunately, I had a theater performance while they dropped it, and I was so tired afterwards, so I had to wait until today. Um, if my voice sounds a little funky, um, yeah, I'm a little bit hoarse, unfortunately. A little bit under the weather, but that that can happen. Um, yeah, for Outlaw, I've seen um, I've seen everything when it comes to what they've dropped with concept pictures. They look so good, <laughs> and the title track is going to be bouncy. I don't know what to think about that, but what I do know is after that was announced. My entire Twitter timeline, as well as my TikTok for you page, was full of 80s jiggly butts. 80s really just functions with only one shared brain cell, don't they? <laughs> I must say it was my first thought as well, but holy shit, a lot of you posted about it. Um... It seems to be like a cowboy theme, also from the thumbnail here, with Hong Chung looking amazing in what seems to be the same outfit as the um, as the concept picture. But it seems seems like there's two concepts. I'm not sure though, because like Hong Chung seems very very cowboy esque, while like for example like. Like Songhua and and Uyong don't really look cowboy esque, so I don't know what to think about that. Also, how the whole cowboy thing ties into the pirate storyline is also a bit confusing for me. Maybe maybe the trailer will will reveal something about that. I don't know. I just want to say, if you're new here, um, I am a fairly new Aetony. I discovered Aetys back in August last year, uh, which means uh, the newest title track at the time was Gorilla. Uh, so this is going to be my first like full Korean comeback when it comes to Aetys. So I don't know what to expect with what they usually drop before and that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit of background info. Uh, I have been here for the Japanese releases though. And of course for Halosia, but th that was a spin-off, a single album, and yeah, I've, I've seen somebody talk about Outlaw being a mini album, but I haven't found anything pointing towards that. So if you can give me any information as to where people would know that from that would be nice because I feel like I'm blind because I couldn't find anything about it Okay, let's uh, let, Let's just jump into the trailer and let's go Oh, I just noticed that oh, I know it's not 80s related. That's so sweet and I never noticed that on these different pieces it says the names of artists, like 80s. I just noticed they added Psychers. Oh my god. I really want to check out Psychers at some point. Um, I have had Psyche stu stuck in my head so much these past weeks, but I haven't really had the time to check out the album. So yeah, let me know if you want want me to check that out. They seem very talented, especially for how young they are. Six months on standby for this entry of this. Oh, there's going to be so many small details in this, I can already tell. Bluebird! <laughs> Oh my god. Each one of us each one of us have has been waiting in separate titles. Okay. A goat? <gasps> I'm 
Altså, Mengi, what the fuck? Mm. Okay. I'm gonna like pause it and focus on details afterwards. Hold the fuck up, no, I was not ri- That was a jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm. I was just <laughs> Okay, I can already tell. This is going to be insane. Wow, okay. I I know there's a lot of small details in this. Because, first of all, it's 80s. Um, but, oh, wow. Ooh, Black B is mentioned here as well. I really have been blind every time I've seen this intro. I've noticed that it said 80s. Seven season KQ produce Edenary KQ original. Okay, I really have been blind with this intro every single time I've seen it in a music video. But I'm going to see what I can find of small details. But oh my god, I feel like it's a little bit funny. It it feels like Hong Chung and Mingyi are like way more like what will you call it like method into the 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 cowboy theme uh, in, in comparison to the rest of them and that that just seems so on brand especially for like hong jung i feel like that's a bit funny but let's see what i notice but i just want to put it out there that i'm very bad at like um, figuring out what it means but I can tell like I'm pretty good at s noticing the details but I'm not good at like putting them into like a context um, so let's just see I noticed that uh, Yosang's uh, delivery service was called Bluebird which was the outro on spin-off from The Witness and it was also something Yosang mentioned in his part of Halosia. But let's see, Wake Up, uh, that has been mentioned in like in Crescent. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's mentioned in other songs as well. <sighs> okay, I'm a, I'm a little bit fucked with uh, these two signs in particular because those are in Japanese and I don't know how to write that. Let's see. Oh god, it's small. Uh. Janko, it seems like it says there. Doom. Spirit of. We really don't get a close look on a lot of it. Let's see. I'm stupid. Django. As in like Django Unchained. Is it just meant to be like a, a sort of like country um, reference? I think so. It's just the world down here futures now seems to be 
common theme for them. What the hell does that say? And this says wake up, just spelled in Hangul. Don't know what it is about the mouse here. Okay. And there's a mouse over here too. I, pe I feel like that's gonna mean something. And this prestige academy. If I, if I'm not wrong, isn't that the at the end of Gorilla you saw a, a, a school student like running away or something on, on like a surveillance cam? Wasn't that the? Didn't he have that on his uniform? Hmm, maybe? Oh, and I... I'm not sure. Okay, no, that's not the same. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's been somewhere else. My, my idea was on your son's uniform in the diary film. Also in Inception as well, but it was the diary film where I thought I would get a closer look on it, but it doesn't seem to be the same. <laughs> Bluebird delivery. I did think it was your song when I saw it was called Bluebird delivery. I wasn't sure though. And what's up with the goat? What is up with the goat? Mm, this seems to like slightly point towards not the goat, but um, what is this called? I'm not sure. This thing, I really hope you can see my cursor. Um, I feel like that's you saw that exact one in Illusion, and it does kind of look like a ship somewhere. He has a chili in his mouth. Okay, just to make sure. To cowboys and cowgirls, last seen at. Chili peppers. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I'm I'm pretty sure that the eight A here is meant to be for like eighties. You kidding? If I'm I may be wrong here, I'm not very good with dates, but I'm pretty sure the, the number plate on the scooter is your son's birthday. <laughs> I saw something about his... wasn't his... yeah, his birth... somebody mentioned that his birthday was the day before the comeback, so another hint towards this being your son. That's... that's pretty cool. those two Jesus Christ can we get a look at the room another speculation another speculation I will cut these waiting times out because shit that's going to be a lot gorilla I'm not completely sure about this this may be a lot of speculation on my part Okay, I don't think it's speculation. I think this is the same van they used in Gorilla. At least uh, the light fixtures are about at the same height. No, it's not because this one has windows. Never mind. Because I just know with 80s, barely anything is like. Barely anything is accidental. I'm also... N oh god. There's so much here. So much. And my internet is not collaborating. Okay. It wasn't the bag from Don't Stop as I thought. But I feel like this, there's a boxing glove here. I feel like that's from Rocky, 
and that's not accidental. Don't know about the thing next to it, but I feel like this is supposed to reference Rocky. Damn, he looks damn good in that shirt bag. Don't you just see anything? Mm. Outlaw customs. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's a lot I'm missing here. Probably. Now I feel like there's a duality because pe- people, again, people think that bounce is going to be like kind of a ho handsome, like shaking ass kind of bounce. But this is pointing more towards the slang of let's go, let's sleep. Hmm. Jesus fuck that's mm-hmm. Hmm. I feel like there's a lot of missing here, but this looks so fucking awesome. Can't wait until this drops this this is gonna be so fucking good. Oh my god. I really hope I get the possibility of buying the album in at least a somewhat Danish or uh, or in a sh- like a web shop that is um, within the EU. If you don't know, you you get like not a fine, but you need to pay extra, like a lot extra, if you need to get something sent. Uh, if you need to get something shipped if it's from outside of the EU and I really hope I can find it in um, in an EU shop oh god because I really want this album like I'm, I'm not a collector at all but I really like having CDs um, and I've actually managed to uh up till now get three k-pop albums without that extra like shipping cost and i'm so happy about it but i'm i'm very worried about maybe this not not showing up or i i don't know i don't know i hope i hope i get to get this one i i managed to get uh to get um the world movement and i love having that cd with me and they put a lot of stuff in that i that was my first k-pop album and holy shit you get a lot of stuff i am rambling please forgive me i have just woken up like an hour ago or something so yeah i'm really looking forward to the world outlaw this is going to be amazing. On a different note, this is just something I, I wanted to mention. I I haven't really brought it to Twitter because I really don't want the cesspool of, of what Twitter sometimes can be to jump down, down my throat for this. Um, 
I I have B stage and get the notifications and see the posts from eighties. And I want to preface this by saying I don't mind there being a membership option and some membership exclusive uh, content. I don't mind that at all. Like that's completely fair. What I do mind though, and I'm not. I don't think AC's are to blame for this. I, th- I think maybe it's a management thing. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know how involved they are with the like minuscule, small details wh- when it comes to these uh, platforms. But Oo Young went back to Korea uh, for a little health hiatus for his ankle. And ever since then, he has posted three times, like made posts. I'm not talking about the comments, I'm talking about posts. He has posted three times and all three times have been membership posts. And I don't know what those posts contain. I don't have membership, but it just feels kind of exploitative that a member goes on a small health hiatus and from then on every single post that may contain stuff that you as a fan would like that you would like to see to see if if he's all right that you have to pay to see if he's all right if you know what i mean i don't know if i'm phrasing this completely wrong but but it kind of feels that way and i don't think it's intended that way but it's just very unfortunate because he has only posted three times since his hiatus and all three have been membership posts. It, it just feels weird when he's on hiatus. So maybe there's a reason for it. If any of you know if there's a reason for it, I would love to hear it. But to be honest, you're probably not even here anymore because I have been rambling for a while now. But I just wanted to like get that out there, my thoughts about that out there, because it has been bugging me ever since the first post. Uh, there was a membership one because, again, it was the first post since this hiatus. Felt like it may be a, hey guys, I'm I'm doing all right, I'm resting well, uh, sort of post. I don't know because I don't know what the post contained. But that you had to pay to be able to see that, that just feels off. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you want to catch me on any other social media, like I've mentioned a couple of times now, I have Twitter and that as well as my TikTok handle and my Instagram handle are in the description. Even though I may not post as much on Instagram and tic- and TikTok, I am online all the freaking time, so you can definitely catch me there. There's also a link to my Discord server. I would love to see some more 18 in there, so feel free to jump in. Other than that, I will see you on the next video. Bye!